Uh, uh, oh, finally, a place to eat and drink. Ah, so good. Hello, my name is Matt, and I is Luke. Uh, oh, um, and we're waiting for our meals at this lovely, more like decrepit tavern. Yes, yes. We are in the land of. Oh, our drinks, our drinks, oh, our drinks. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. You're in the drink. Yes, um, yes, cheers. Yeah. Oh, 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 my hey, gosh. Hey, no. a broken glass ain't mean nothing. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, there's some glass in my drink, but Are it's you, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll That's a man's. In a second. But first we have to wait for a meal. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> wow. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll glue it together. I meant it's been years, Saruk. It has. It has. We um, we've been meaning to discuss our tastes in the 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 virtual game realm. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Quite a subject. I have to ask first off, what is your favorite? My favorite. Such a hard question. Uncharted. <laughs> oh, Uncharted. Yes. yes. Uh, 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 times of the. T uh, my favorite tomes as well. Oh. They are very mystic. We yes. can't. We can't. I can't hold this up. For I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna be talking about our favorite video games. Hopefully, maybe some movies, and we're gonna be going to rob a dungeon. Yes. All together. Yes, Matt Langston, we are. We, this is a completely original topic, original concept. There is not a single Netflix original yeah. where this takes place, Absolutely. where there's you know, a theme, nothing like that. We're just robbing a dungeon. It's completely original. We're actually going to copyright it. Yes. Um, Even your mom hasn't done it yet. So, yeah. yeah, like... You know, if you think your mom did it, yeah. Yeah, if you think your mom did it out there, guys. Yeah, if you think, if you're listening to this and you think your mom has done this or has come up with it, she hasn't. So think about it that again. So I guess you could say your mom sucks. <laughs> oh, where's our food? Ugh. Our food. We wait. I expect it. Oh. Oh. A little birdie alerts me <laughs> to check our feast. Oh, oh, oh good yes. meal. Good stuff. Oh, heck yeah, man. Oh, they got finally. the. They got the nice crust. Yes. Oh. I mean, bones. Oh. Chicken bones. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, I'll get some drink in there. Mm. 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 I forget there's glass in there, but it's okay. Uh. Mm. Ah, so, uh, Matt. Mm. Mm. Hang on, let me... Uh. What's your favorite video game? I have to agree. Uncharted is my favorite game, too. What? Uncharted. Uncharted? Oh, which one? Four. Nice, nice, nice. See, <clears throat> it's the best. It's just the best. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, no other game can be made now. Yeah. And I think if you do not like Uncharted, you were a mistake from your parents. Mm. Deuces. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ditto. Ditto. That's the, the right term. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Oh, I got another thing we're talking about. Anyway, yeah. Um. Why do you like Uncharted? Why do I like Uncharted? Mm -hmm. Well, it all started in a Best Buy a long, long time ago. I mean, a <clears throat> a store in the in the um, realm a long general, time ago. Yeah. Um. Hang on. Um. Um. Gracious. Like the it. merchant buys medieval best yeah. buy <laughs> <laughs> i was there with my father and um what ended up happening was a demo was being shown and i was like oh my gosh and i remember picking up the controller 
and my father was like that looks cool let me let me try it too and we played it and it was just like this really cool chase sequence you're in an alleyway and this like big old trucks chasing you down you have to like run and also yeah. shoot at it and it's i think it was on charge too and so my dad was like yeah, let's buy it let's go and i was like what as a kid i'm like what Damn, you're man. buying me a game and it's not my birthday what is this man and so i just i fell in love with it the how it's so much of a it's it, i mean you know, everyone says this it's a movie it's very cinematic and it's just got such a good story it's indiana jones but with like a lot more modern and guns and everything i think yeah and so that cinematic aspect along with you know parkour climbing shooting and everything and you know, hot girls in the video games. It was just a, it was a great yeah. mixture for a teenage boy. Yeah. Why do you why do you love Uncharted now? I have to say, I unfortunately didn't have a PlayStation growing up. Mm, and I thankfully, I thankfully <clears throat> have a very similar experience with my dad. My dad was the reason why I'm still in the video games today. Mm, nice. But staying on the um, on the rail, um, I picked up Uncharted Four. Um, as well as like just a stack of other games. I played through Uncharted 4. Oh, I think I actually got the Uncharted Collection whenever I got. It was like, it was my first job. The PlayStation was like $300. I spent the first three or four paychecks that I got from that job on a PlayStation <laughs> and got Uncharted. Dude, nice. Um, but. Um, Uncharted 4 for me is just like just a masterpiece mm -hmm. they just did such a great there's nothing quite like bobbing and weaving I don't think I've, <laughs> I can find a better example of just a run and gun game mm -hmm. um, just being able to just like not slink behind cover but just like just literally just jettison yourself. Just <laughs> hurl yourself into a gunfight. It's so fun. Mm. They, um... I don't know how long they've been made, made that game, but um, I think the game released... Hang on. Um, it's early, maybe 2008 or six. I'm thinking. 2000. Let's fact check this in this big book we have. Yes, uh, um, my mystical... Uh, yes. We just have to ask it what we want to know, and it will oh, tell us. Oh, great. Oh, it's flipping to those pages. Oh, great mystical book. When did Uncharted 4 come out to us? 2016. 2016? May 2016. That's the fourth one. Yes. Oh, that's what you're wondering? Yes. Oh, I was thinking about the first one. The first one was probably 2000. Oh, great book. When did the first <laughs> one come out? 2007. 2007. Wow. Dang. I was in between that. 2006 or 2008. I am. Um, Heck yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. They should call me a mystical book. <laughs> my favorite game. Well, not, it's not my favorite game, but like a really good game <laughs> also came out called Halo 3 around mm, that time. I've never heard of it. What's it? You said Halo. Halo? Like yeah, a it's Halo a little thing. Around your head? Yeah. Halo 3? Clearly, you aren't cultured by cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, asshole. <coughs> hey, okay. I'll kill you. <laughs> Wait, we're not at the port yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, staying, staying on track. Yeah. Uncharted Four. Mm -hmm. Does it compare to Tomb Raider? Mm. I have to be completely honest. I've only played Tomb Raider like. 10 minutes so I don't have a say so no so no <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not Tomb Raider actually is bad apparently. yeah apparently uh, I um the only Tomb Raider I've actually played is um I don't even know which one it was like on the PC back in 2003 you know let's see here Tomb Raider um mm, I think it was Legend Okay. 2006? I seriously don't know that was it. I doubt, I doubt that was it. Oh. Anyway, mm -hmm. 2006. It didn't hold up. Wow. To Uncharted. It's great. Really? Great, great image. Um, what about the new ones that came out after Uncharted? Have you played those? They're, they're I bad. just downloaded them, but I, I didn't like them. What? I didn't like them. 
I didn't play them. Wow. But I also didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying Halo 3. Where were we going with that? Uh, it just came out again um, on PC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> um, it's funny. I Going back to Halo 3 after having it Excuse when... Me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm making a passion point right now. <laughs> so I, um, I, I think I, pl- I think it was ten when it came out, and I was terrible at it. I regularly had like land parties where I was like the worst one in the field. No one else actually like. Um, I think I, I would have like a, I would spend hours like on Forge and stuff like that. I remember um, like I wouldn't when it came to 3 you couldn't actually make your own maps but you can rearrange like contents within it and so like oh man Nat's over there he's kind of hogging that little office space <laughs> on, I think it was the map was called High Ground it's like oh man he got the um, the sniper and he's able to like kind of have a really good alleyway to like just snipe me at it's like okay what if I just moved the sniper closer to the office, but also added like you know a few like fusion coils in there, mm-hmm. so I can just like hit a, hit that explosive barrel. Oh, and he's out of there. So that way he keeps him nimble. <laughs> Home yeah, run. Just, well, I just like the idea of mixing up a map. Um, yeah. But um, going back to it after years of kind of you know honing my skill. Oh yeah. My Respect. my great skill in games. I'm not that much better. Um, <laughs> It's cool, but damn, if I'm bad at a sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I um I went back to Reach. Reach released back um, 14, 2014? It, it came out in 2012, or initially. Ah, initially. Okay. initially. Um, and it came back out on PC, I think, back in December, maybe? Yeah, um, I remember hearing about it being recent. Um, it's sad. I, I don't think there's a whole lot of people playing it now. Oh, and it's wow. like it's a whole thing about diminishing returns. Um, uh, it's like you have I don't know I, I don't know how big of a reception there was for it, but I, I don't know. I think it's, it's sad just to see no one playing it anymore. <laughs> sad. It means you're old. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <old>. dearie me! <laughs> yeah, that is kind of sad though, especially a beloved game like that. Oh man, I I do have some history of Halo. I I grew up as a, a PlayStation boy. You know, I grew up on the two, but then the three, ugh, then the four, maybe the five if it's enough funds, you know, in my bank account at the time. I hear they're doing it so um, backwards compatibility is a thing. I dude, if they do, I will sell my leg to get it. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I'll I sell your leg. backwards. I'll sell your second leg. <laughs> hey, we can sell some legs. <laughs> Just gotta find a good buyer, maybe in this tavern, you know. Mm. Um. But I think Halo, going back to Halo, Halo was um, very much a fun game to go over to someone's house and play. Hmm. Um. Especially couch co-op, and I feel like that's kind of going away, but I think it's kind of making a comeback in a way. With some of the exclusives that have come out, like um, that prison game, A Way Out, yeah, which was fantastic if you haven't picked it up. But anyways, back to Halo. I mean, getting to my friend's house, loading up some split screen, and he, him including my brother, in fact, to play with us. And um, we would all three play. Um, did, they have, or, did they have split screen for three people back then? On, on 360? Yeah. Yeah, we got Okay, okay. Because I just want to double check. But yeah, we all three would sit down and play. Um, and if we went to someone's house who didn't have a third controller, we'd take turns. But like us just sitting there and trying to kill each other with the Warthog and oh, doing yeah, jumps man. and stuff, it was literally the funnest. And I love their cinema mode where you can record stuff. Oh, theater. Theater mode, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, and as a person who loves film and is also a film director, I would oh, make man. little films at my friend's house. And we would be messing around and, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So it was really cool. And I loved how, um, I think, Red vs. Blue really took that mode and made a whole franchise out of it. Yeah. Um, as a kid, that was really cool to see. And it's like, it's looking at it, ba- looking back at it, um, you see, like, just the, like, the kind of tactics that they took to kind of, like, film it. So, like, if you look at the very original episode, 
you can see a reticle, like you can see like a pistol, like the like the aiming sight of the pistol, because like they don't have a theater mode in the original Halo game. Mm. So the first episode, oh dear, dang, we've been wasting a lot of time. We better get to that um um that dungeon before sundown. Oh, shoot! All right, all right. Mm. All right let's pick it up. Oh, it's, uh, Tavern wench. Yep. Yeah, here's your tip. Go. That tavern sucked, right? Yeah, man. All right, we're, we're a bit of a ways from the town now. Um, belly's full and ready to go. Yes, I'm still drink. I stole the cup from the, the tavern. Um, <laughs> yeah, guess I, we'd call him a. I guess we can't go to back go to cup town. since <laughs> we had to leave. <laughs> High five. Yeah, that's a thing back in this day. I think mm-hmm. <laughs> we made um, it a thing. Going back to Halo. And the recording and stuff. I think it's really cool that like you can just like do that kind of stuff. Like, um, and it's um, they kind of doubled down on it. Um, at least I think Bungie did. I don't know if um, three four three actually kind of brought um, the love for. No, actually, I think they actually went back. Okay, okay, cool thing. I want to say that whenever um, Halo three came out, there's a little nook in like the second or third episode where you can actually like um um encounter like a this like an interaction between two marines um and i want to say that whenever they re-released it that they went bra- went back and got the guys from red versus blue to replace the voice actors of that scene so it's like caboose on the other side of a door and I think like either Griff or some or or I can't, I can't remember. I think it was Griff and Caboose. And so Caboose is like trying to like, you know, protect the door. And he's got like a whole password and everything. Like that. And Griff's like, I don't. There's no password. You don't. You can't let me in. I there, I have to get in. But there's no <laughs> password to this door. It's like no. There's a door. There's a password. <laughs> You're just. You're, <laughs> and I don't know if it was like that originally, but um, playing back through it with my friends recently, it's undeniable that's red versus blue. Like they yeah. just completely embraced. So I don't know if they like have continued with that kind of trend of just kind of like yeah, these guys love this like just the series and this franchise, and so we just kind of want to embrace them. And I, I want to say that they have, wow, especially that's awesome. seeing that. Yeah, it's that's really, really cool, cool that they did that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, what did you think of the new Halo stuff? New Halo stuff? Yeah. Infinite, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gameplay came out yesterday. Oh yeah, I remember you told me to check it out, did and you, did you? I did check it out. It looks pretty. It's interesting for sure. I think, um, I'm not a Halo person, so I don't have really room to talk, but I think an open world Halo would be really cool with friends, and I heard they're bringing back split screen, so that is really, really awesome in my book, so. Um, from what I'm understanding about it is it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be like us, either a section or just the whole Halo ring that's mm-hmm. going to be an open world. I don't know if that would be as entertaining to people who are more used to that linear aspect of it, but if it's on a Halo ring where, you know, you can kind of realistically, you know, have like, okay, it's not a, it's not an open world, it's like an open corridor, yeah. because it's just a ring, um, I think that honestly be really cool, and if that's what they're doing... I actually am okay with it. That sounds really cool. It does, and from what I saw, like um, you just chilling in the warthog, riding around uh. to get to where you need, you know, point A to point B, but also can go off course a little bit. I think that looks really freaking cool. Yeah, um, I've seen like if you look at the little uh, map that you can pull up, they have like the one section where the demo itself takes place and all the firefighting and just like the whole maneuverability, mm-hmm. but then you have other waypoints across like gorges and gaps and ravines and stuff oh, like that's that cool. like there's no way you can get there on foot so either you have to like make a jump or like steal like a banshee <laughs> nice. and if that's like the concept and the idea that they're bringing to the table i am i am almost sold yeah i'm, I'm almost thinking about buying an xbox 
just for that. Well, I will definitely come over and play it. Yeah, <laughs> if come you on. do, man. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. So that I think the big thing for me, just hearing that they're bringing that back split screen, especially for players, yeah, because it's hard nowadays to get two player split screen. Yeah. So I think that's really interesting that they're really holding their ground on that and bringing it back. I think um, they they didn't have it in four and five. Mm-hmm. I want to say that they had only like co-op in four. Um, and so, yeah, definitely I, I appreciate them kind of bringing back. Because I think like you have, I think you had it at one point. It's so, like there was a... I want last gen to just look good and like just like be visually impressive. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to say that it looks bad, <laughs> well, but in here we go. some in some shots in some framings, some of the assets and some of like the the, the decals look kind of plastic. I think that I saw that. I remember you told me about it, and I, I, I looked back at it, and I think it was possibly the lighting, um, ref, like the reflections and stuff from the gun. Just it just looked a little weird to me too. So. I, but I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think as of right now, hearing I've heard news that it's oh that was just kind of an, uh, an that's an early release like demo. Gotcha. Um, and the game's not coming out for another five months. Mm. So, so there's room for improvement. Room for improvement. So it might be absolutely stunning when it comes out, and we might people might be watching this and they're like, "Wow, these idiots wow, these think this game looked suck. bad." But well, you know <laughs> something that they put in the game? What? Grapple hook, just like an oh, Uncharted baby. Oh, Uncharted yeah. four baby. Um, I think that if you, I want to say. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I gotta take a sip as well. That was refreshing to say the least. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta clear that out. Um, mm. I think that they actually may have took some key points from Uncharted 4. Really? A I lot love... of games have started to do that. I mean, Ghost of Timishima that just came out, excuse me if I haven't said the name right, but they actually got the grappling hook i think in Do some they? areas they ha- i haven't i just started playing it but from what i saw in the trailer they have like um these ropes you can throw and you could swing on these branches in some areas so i'm excited to unlock it but i think i think that's what it is so a lot of people are really embracing that from what i mean i'm sure there's other games who have done it before uncharted 4 but uncharted 4 really brought it to the to the front table Dang. Which are the front rooms. So. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I don't know very much at all about this game. What is the plot? What is the, the story, syn- like, not the synopsis, but like, what's the back cover, like, plot hook? Oh, Ghost of Timishima? Yeah. Um, probably saying that wrong. But it's basically a um, samurai game. Mm. But it's like a mixture of, for me, it's a mixture of Assassin's Creed and Uncharted, but at the same time, it's its own thing. So, I mean, you're defending your country against Mongolians, and they've taken over the whole island, and you're the last samurai trying to defend it and retrieve it and get it back. It is beyond amazing, and it's wow. it's one of my... And I've only played the intro. This is like Samurai Jack. Intro. Yeah, it's only the intro, and I've it's one of my favorite games. It's top five, for sure. Dude, okay, so, like, I've only heard positive things about this game. I think... I gotta, I gotta get this game. Oh, I, yeah. I don't even... I think... I. I haven't really done it in a while, um, but the idea of just, like, I'm kind of blind to what this game is. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to jump in and see Dude, if I like yeah. it or not. I literally saw, like, a fast clip of gameplay, and I was like, that looks like my cup of tea. And I just bought it going in willy-nilly, like, not knowing it, and it's been beyond amazing. And I got stuck yesterday playing, like, this little side quest. <laughs> And the side quests are just as good as the main game. And oh, so that was really... Man. I got stuck on that. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen to this character? What's going to happen there? Hmm. And I've um, I've just... I'm like, okay, i got to get back on the main story. That's really interesting, but um, i got to hop on, see what's going on with our character. But, is, there, is there customization in the game? Oh my gosh, yes. Great customization. I saw a, a screenshot of like a basket. You can mm-hmm. wear a basket. 
helmet. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. I um, I don't know. I think if they if they put in a um, I don't know, like a a Spartan maybe suit or helmet or something like that. If if you like Uncharted and, and Halo and Ghost of Tsushima, you're 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 stupid and we're gonna kill you in your whole town. And so come out if you love it and stay inside if you don't. But we're gonna kill you anyways because you, you're associated with them. So come on out. Are you here at this right now? Yeah, what the what the heck was that? Let's go kill those let's guys. Let's go. Yeah, they they they, they hate it. They like they rob people. Yeah. Let's go kill them. Let's go kill them and All right, know, let's save, go. save the people too. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. So what we were saying is um customization in games. Yes. Um yes. Hang on, let me let me take a sit, seat right here on this guy's head. Uh, it's been a long oh, walk real yeah, quick. You, you want to yeah. sit down? I'm you want to sit yeah, on his head? Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> wow, this guy's actually very comfortable. Yeah, he's very fat. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of plush. Just And it's very cold. Oh, it's blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Ah dang. Ah shoot. Ah oh, man. Yeah. Oh man. Um I really it's it's weird having um blood on your pants or Yeah, it, it's it's a customization feature, I'll be honest with you. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So um having uh uh oh. Um I think hang on. What's your favorite game with customization in it? Like I, your... I think Shoot, let me think on that real quick. I like Doom's um, ah. customization. It's just, it. I think the whole game as itself is archaic. So mm -hmm. it's just like you'll have. Sometimes it's good to just have like, just like a whole armor set that's just glued to itself. You can't really rearrange stuff like that. Because with Doom, like you can get like the classic, the classic like Doom like suit. Yeah. Um, you can. Um, it. Like even um, something I really really liked about Doom was that they um, they did an ex a few exclusive with um, Amazon, and so you can just get like a skin as long as you can link like your account to Bethesda. Who really made the game. So like they That's had cool. one. It was like the cosplay Doom suit. So it was like <laughs> apparently somebody won uh, the like the Doom cosplay contest or a cosplay contest dressed as the noom guy and so you can kind of see it's like oh his chest piece is literally just like corrugated cardboard yeah it's kind of funny that's freaking awesome yeah I, uh, <laughs> I think what about you customization in a game um of course like grand theft auto online is really cool but to be I honest think about that yeah if i had to go i think to be honest, as a, the first one that popped in the mind is the Uncharted stuff. <laughs> Back to Uncharted. I know I can be talking about Uncharted, but yeah. there was like, I remember this as a kid, is like after beating the game and unlocking it, you can unlock this skin called Donut Drake. Yeah. And it was just fat Nathan Drake running around, and I just love that so much. I wonder if they still have it in the collection that's on the PlayStation. Yeah, it's in the collection. I was looking at it. Yeah, 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 dude, I just awesome. unlocked it. Um, I going back to uh, uh, uh Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Um, so whenever you're, did you play five? Yeah, yeah. Um, did you? Uh, did you play uh Red Dead? Red Dead yes, Red Dead. I played Red Dead too. So Redemption. whenever you're making your character, you actually have to like, or you have to pick your parent, and then you have to like organize, like, oh, how much do I look like my mom or my dad? Yeah. You can actually make your dad, John Marston. What? From the original uh, Red That's Dead. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I, um, I love those little details. I did those that. Are amazing. I did that, and it was like, oh, man, I don't look great. It's <laughs> weird, because I inherited his scars. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's like, hilarious. Way to just, like, get hurt so bad your son is. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Speaking about hurting, I'm going to move to this other body. All right. Ugh. This uh, this one's kind of getting a little yeah. They, I might a little too on cold. This, one, actually. this one's ah. a little warm, a little warmer. Yeah. Oh man. Oh oh. Hang on. 
Hang on, let me check my my mystical watch here. I think I think we I think we better move on. Okay. I think we're I think the I think the day I think the day is kind of coming to a close. Oh yes. If we don't if we don't go rob this dungeon now, we might not be able to get back home before nightfall, and that's when the oh, you know man. yeah the you darkness comes. We don't want to talk about that. That's pretty yeah the darkness. Pretty sensitive subject. Yeah, I'm actually scared of the, um. I'm not scared of the dark. Yeah, we're not scared or anything. We just think just it's like... we just think it's pretty good to you know get get home and you know tucked in and by our moms and yeah. all that. You know, it's a good thing. It's yeah, natural. I mean, I live with my mom not because I'm like you know short on money, it's just because I just love my mom. Yeah, yeah. I, same here. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not because yeah. like you know I love my mom. It's not. Yeah. I mean, because not like in an uncool way. Yeah, but like just a you know good son way. You know. You just yeah. Kind of, yeah. Get her groceries whenever you can. That's yeah, what I do. Like, I support her. Yeah, I support her dreams. And yeah. that's, you know, and I was one of her dreams. And now one of her dreams is going to make her I support my happen. mom more than you. Yeah. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, I support my mom more than you. So. You want to fight about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough, 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 enough. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's say we... That was an equal fight. We our strength is equal to okay. each other. That's We're both fine. masculine men, and we beat each other. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm I'm cool with you. Okay, We're you're cool. a very cool you're guy. Cool. I'm cool. You're All a very right. cool. Hey, guy. look, we're at the dungeon now. Yeah, yeah, cool. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's I very scary. I'm cool too. We'll talk about that later. All right. Oh, the dungeon. What? Yeah. The... Okay. <laughs> The dungeon. Oh man, that oh, is uh... oh, okay. Okay, well let, let's let's get ready. Let's size up this whole problem we got here. Okay, so I'm I'm looking over. Here. Oh man, so we got a gorge here. Oh shoot, I see little, that now. Um, oh god, what's it called? What's the thing called? It's of the like castle? A, it's like a trench. 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 I don't know if it's called battle. No, no, no. Trench. Yeah, it's a really deep trench over there. It's very, very deep. If someone were to fall, they would fall. They would okay, fall so and die. I'm seeing. Let me put on my spectacles. Um, okay, what so are you the, seeing? the what bridge are you seeing? is out. The bridge is out. I, oh, there's no bridge. There? There's no bridge. Oh gosh. But we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to rock paper scissors and see who can get over there. I got a grapple hook. Hang on. All right, so I got the grapple hook here. So who's gonna jump? I'll hold the. I'll, wait, no. Okay, so who's gonna jump with the grapple hook? Uh, let's rock who, paper scissors to see who does it. Okay, good idea. Okay. That 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 sounds like a good idea. All right. Rock paper. Hey. Okay. Two out of three? Two out of three. Fine, okay, fine, yeah, fine, fine, yeah. Fine. I, that, that's not fair. Away. You know, I would have to right, go. Fine, so fine, let's right. do one more. Right, wait, wait, wait. Right. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, all right. Because right. we, we're tied. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so now we're tied. Because we got the now. same choice. All right, so. Okay, okay. All right. The, whoever wins all this one. All the marbles. All the pebbles and the stones. Okay, all right. Paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it! Get over there! Get on that freaking ring! Get over there! Yeah, I win! Yeah, I'm cooler! Dance. Okay. Use your grapple hook. I hate my life. Give me loser. the loser. Yeah, give it to me. Use your grapple hook, loser. <clears throat> oh, shoot, this All right. is heavy. Try right. to suck at this too. All right. All right. All right. Like, like Uncharted, right? Yeah. <gasps> yes, I got it. Oh, wow, good job. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Now all I gotta do is jump, right? Just I jump just gotta jump and, and swing across. To, try not to fall. Get to my death. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah very mm. encouraging words. Thank you. All Actually, right. hang on. What? Tie your foot around so in case you do fall. You know what? Do your own, do your own thing. Do well, no, own... no, no. That was a good idea. Tie my foot around. No, no, no. You do your own thing. Do my own thing? Okay. Yeah, do your own thing. Well, I'll tie my wrist around it. Okay. That's sure, fine. fine. Sure, okay. Your idea. Right. You know, whatever. Break your wrist or something. No, actually, that's about it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm just gonna hold it like a man. You know, don't. I'm just gonna hold like a man. I know. You're right. Yeah, be a man. Be a man. Yeah. All right. Stupid man. Can you count for me? Uh, okay. Okay. Um. One, two, yep. three, four, five. You, oh, you wanted me to count down? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Count to count to three and say go after three. Thirty, twenty-nine. No, no, no. Tw oh, sh shut up! I got it. Okay. One. Okay. Okay. Two. I can, look. Can we rock paper scissors again? I don't want. No, no. I won. Okay. I won. All right. All right. Fair square. Right. <clears throat> we can rock paper scissors <gasps> again, but I'll I'll just rock papers myself. All right, one again. Okay, uh, all right, all right. I'm a man, right? I'm a man, all right? All right. Yeah, yeah, you're a man. All right, all right. You're like a rock. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Like the rock I beat with the paper. <laughs> Screw you. Three. 
two, one. Hey! I fell onto this side cliff thing in the trench. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I felt that one. I got the cord here. Uh, do, do you I'm want it? I can let it go. I'm a, I didn't mean to. It's just, I'm pat in the do, head. No, I, it's so, I mean, it's okay. I'm just saying, uh, do you want some slack? I can give you the whole rope if you want. Uh, do you want the whole rope? I, I guess. Whatever you think. Wait, I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, that actually might not be a good idea. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull you up. Do you think you can pull me up? I'm a little yeah, heavy. I'm, I'm strong. I'm cool. I'm strong. Yeah, you, you kind of. All right. All right. All right. So while we're going up, <clears throat> so while, we, while I'm pulling you up, I got I got a few questions for you. Okay. Ever played? You ever played? You ever played um, Metroid Prime? No, I haven't. Okay. I haven't played it. Um, what What do you know about it? That robot from Smash Brothers, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Hang on. Well, let's get you up here. Let's get you up. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. I hate you. I mean, at least, hater, at least, loser. <laughs> at least I grabbed the bridge and it fell with me. But then, yeah, I good fell job down on to that. that. One. It actually fell down. Yeah, it just costed actually, me I don't know a. Uh, Putting all this effort to bring you back up. <laughs> Shoot. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, I appreciate just that. You. Yeah. Just Josh and you, Josh. Yeah, Luke. My name's Luke. Yes. Ah, uh, not Josh. Yeah. Um. Yes. Anyway, Metroid Prime. I'm playing it for the first time. It's a game from 2002. Really. It has a very kind of. Um. It, so you know how like you know you have like, you look with one stick and you move with the other with most video games. Hang on most, my back. Okay, uh, I fell right on my spine. All right, geezer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Screw you. All right. What were you saying? Um. So you know how it's like that. You have movement on the left stick, and you look around on the right stick. Yeah. That's kind of the same stick. In That's what she said. Metroid. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same stick in Metroid Prime, and so that kind of leaves you to kind of. Fast, like change weapons in. Um, oh, cool! Yeah, and so one of the things that kind of had me kind of on the fence about like liking the game in general was how fast the game like like put out so, so like you could easily like auto aim and then just like rapid tap the fire button. Really? And so yeah, yeah. So you had like slow moving enemies who may may have a you know a sizable amount of health. Um, but you would, um, you would just kind of sit there and just like, and then they would be dead. Wow. But okay. I just got to a point in the game, oh boy, <laughs> where the space pirates come out. Space Ooh, pirates. Come out. Space pirates. No spoilers or anything, but there are pirates in this game, and they're from space. <laughs> they designed the character, the space <clears throat> pirates in this game to match that speed. Really? And so you're, you know, just just like just spraying at this guy and he's just like just sprinting across like the walls and like just he's like just slashing at you and stuff like that wow god so cool sounds awesome uh, the game is just, dude, it's great they're doing the fourth <laughs> game uh, on the switch sometime soon i don't know when it's oh coming really out. that's awesome it's so good. I'm actually doing some research on the other games, the ones that kind of came beforehand. Oh, nice. Apparently there are some that are not great. <laughs> but being 20 years old and looking back 20 years ago, um, um, just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of cool to just like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really into this game now, but it's 20 years old. It's cool. I, I just, I don't know. It's just like one of those really, I feel like I want to go on the kind of like a career of like just kind of extending the legacy like the lifetimes of like video games because like you'll have like a console release for a game like there's one game that I really 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 liked it was called metal arms did you ever play that game metal what's what platform i think it was on i think it was on playstation also but it was uh, but it was on xbox huh i never played it sounds good it's um 
It's a third <clears throat> person run and gun kind of deal. It's got all these. Oh different... my neck! Oh oh god! Oh gosh, my neck! Did all you right. did you shatter your pelvis? In there? I don't know. I just let's walk across the bridge while I talk. All right, all right yeah, <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. All right, you're saying. Um, and it's just a game that isn't available except on that platform. I don't know if it's on Steam. But I think Steam is the best platform to kind of like just get old games, put them on like a platform that's easy accessible. Because like you'll have a computer, like um, like and you'll upgrade it throughout the years and stuff like that. And there'll be different like OSs and stuff like that. But you'll still have ownership of the game. Yeah. I just I just I just Heck like yeah. the idea of legacy in video games. Yeah. Like, like I love how. You know, you could play an old game on Steam, and you can always have it, pretty much. Like, yeah. left, like I mean, looking back, like I never owned Left 4 Dead 2 because I think it was Xbox exclusive, right? Yes. And so, being getting a PC for video editing, it's a gaming computer too. So I was like, Left 4 Dead, let me go buy it, it's dirt cheap, ten bucks or something. Yeah. And it was like on sale or something, and so I got to get it and just play it whenever. And just imagine, ten years from now, you'll still be able to do that. Yeah. Like if exactly. you're someone who's like. You know, coming to it like ten years from now, you'll be able to buy the game just as it is. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I bought I bought some old games recently, and so apparently, what they do is they actually have a virtual computer that you download with the old game. And in some cases, you kind of have to work it. But so, like, I bought. Um, apparently, it was it's this old Alien vs Predator game. That was like back in the 2000s when it came out. With the movie? It was it like something like that, one of those movie games? I think, I don't know. This one was <laughs> experimental, I gotta say. Oh, okay. I don't know if it was in line with any movie or not. Like, it might, it may have been, but um, it was purely, like, it was really weird. I, have, I don't think I've seen any game or any movie like it. Um, but it was like, whenever I was downloading, it was like, yeah, downloading uh, Windows Vista um, OS, you know, Replicator. Like that's what Steam was like notifying me for. It's interesting, and I hope that like that's something that's possible because apparently a really big hurdle for playing old games is OSs. Yeah. And so you'll have like a, a whole different machine, and if you can't like like you can't play a CD-ROM, not not CD-ROM, just like if you put in if I put in like um. Like, uh, I had, like, Sonic R. Did you ever play that game? The only Sonic games I remember was, like, the ones on the PlayStation 3. It was, like, it was did Sonic you, Did something. you play the, like, 2006 Sonic? I played one where you, like, ride on a rail and you jump around, and it's, like, really kind of like a track. That's a lot of them. <laughs> they they, they kind of recycle that mechanic a lot, I'll be honest. Well, this, this one, it's, like... You know, third per. Um, I guess they're all third person. Yeah, I'm kind of. I, I would know. love to see a first person Sonic. Game. That'd be awesome, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be freaking cool. But uh, Sonic PS3. Let me look in the book. The mystical oh, the book. Mystic book. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. This is the one I played. It's oh, pulling up an image in the book. Oh, that's the worst one yeah well i, I loved mean, it as a kid so dude, i'll be honest with you i was kind of into it too what high five high five and I, if you're out there and you don't think it's cool then go go uh go away yeah i hate you we'll we'll, we'll do it we'll do it to those robbers they were robbers right yeah 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 we'll do totally what, robbers yeah well yeah they were very bad people for sure it's the only reason we did it not for any other reason like, yeah sure all right so yeah, uncharted. Yeah, I mean, not, I mean, uncharted. Sonic. Yeah, let's go uncharted, back to uncharted. Yeah. Um, Sonic. We were. Um, oh look, look, hang on. There's a goblin over there. Goblin. Yeah. Do you know what a goblin is? Yeah, I hate those. What is a goblin? Uh, prove it. I. <laughs> it's like a person. That, not a person. Sorry, it's like a monster. That that's racist. No, I'm not. I love goblins. I have goblin friends. Let's go kill them anyway. Yeah, let's go kill them. <laughs> mm, uh, it is just me, Gerald the Goblin. Uh, oh, look a coin. <laughs> ah, tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up 
my friend from school. <laughs> yeah, boy. <clears throat> Goblin. Man, this is like my favorite movie. What's your... Yeah, what movie? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Hang on. Let me kick this goblet one last good time. Okay, go for oh, it. Yeah. yeah. It's just, oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, get him. Okay, we're talking about what again? Uh, favorite movie. Oh, favorite movie. Back to the Future, man. Back to the Future is my absolute I saw it for the first movie. time this year. What? Yes. I guess you could say How I... How was your experience? Um, I am in the future. Just the movie is called Future for me. <laughs> After, the, after <laughs> 80 years of the future. <laughs> they actually got a lot of stuff right. I'll be honest, yeah. I mean, besides flying cars and, and the zip up shoes. <laughs> Dude. Well, I guess they do have They that did now. make them. They made them because of the movie. Because of the movie, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> I gotta we say. We just need those vests. One thing I think that was keeping me from watching the movie was the... Like, oh, man, this is just going to be an 80s sci-fi flick. <laughs> I like 80s a lot, but this is just, like, this is what 80s is. And I don't know if I'm ready to, like, witness it. <laughs> I think that was what was keeping me behind. I hate myself for keeping myself away from it. I don't know what I was thinking. It's a great movie. Dude, you see the first one only, or just, you see the second just one? Just the first one. Oh, so you haven't even seen the future one. Yeah. So, okay, so you don't, yeah. Um. So we're going to have to... You know, watch it right now before we go in this. You know, before we continue into this dungeon. It. I don't own it right now. You know, well, uh, yeah, in this dungeon. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, maybe it's we can difficult. find it. Maybe we can find it in the dungeon. Right. So, but yeah, Optimism. back to this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. this dungeon just has a copy. Of it. Yeah, that'd be crazy, back, right? Yeah, that'd be so <laughs> like, stupid. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Oh, yeah, man. and maybe the third one too, the trilogy. Okay, dude, that would be. Yeah. So stupid, but so cool. Yeah, it'd be crazy. How anyway, why? 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 Oh man, it's just oh, gosh, it's such a good trilogy. I mean, let's be honest, they didn't think they were gonna make a second one, is what um, Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale thought. Okay. But the way they had it set up, and the way they've gone back and used footage from the first one and reshot it to where it was like y- you were in the first movie again. Our characters were back with them in the first movie it was just edited so well and it felt like they planned it from the get-go Dang. and so like the way they they did that and the way they oh it's just so beautiful and so a lot of people think the third one's like their least favorite so what i've heard at least but the third one fits perfectly for me as well just because they build up to it um with this really cool ending scene which you'll have to see but no spoilers but it i the trilogy as itself is like one whole movie to me. And so when I think of Back to the Future, I mean like all of them. They're just all my favorite movies. Because like as a kid, I just love the idea of time travel. And as a kid who would keep getting in trouble in school, I was like, how cool would it be if I can go back in time right now and not get in trouble <laughs> or avoid trouble? And so watching that film, I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I could go back in time and actually like hang out with my dad? You know, that's just such a cool concept. You know, and besides me getting out of trouble, go hang out with my dad or something in high school. <laughs> like, what if, like, instead it's, like, a less wholesome version of it's Like, you go back in time to fight your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, dad, I mean, uh... So, Evans. Yeah. Hey, you got my lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always what said, you? you always said, you know, you always, you know... You, you know, always beat me with the belt and the butt. So, uh, how's it, how's it gonna go now? I got a belt okay. in my hand. I guess you could call me the belt now. <laughs> <laughs> turns, out my, it. turns out my dad, like, grabs the belt, just beats me in the butt again back in time. <laughs> beats me so hard, I'm, like, in the future again. <laughs> beats my... <laughs> To the present. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, just the idea of just like your dad's like, I don't know why I want to do this so bad to you, Luke. <laughs> like, you just do something so small, like, like you just spill like your drink or something. It's like, he flips the table and just like, <laughs> just jettisons you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Um, so I haven't seen all of, um, Back to the Future, but I have seen all with you, all mm-hmm. of um, Drive to Cross Concrete. Yes, 
Um, Phenomenal movie if you haven't seen it. And I'm very excited to see what else that... Because there's two other movies by that director, right? Yes. I, I need to watch those. I, you've seen them. But oh my God. Uh, I need to. I want to watch that one of Vince Vaughn in prison. Um, I think that... So I think they're in... Uh, writing kind of like qu- not quality but like just kind of like you have the first one which I think like concept wise the coolest like the best and then you have the center one where it's like yeah that's also really cool and the third <laughs> one's like just in comparison to the other two isn't as cool not yeah. well isn't as not remarkable but just isn't as Mm. Done my drag across concrete. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I hate to say it. I love all three movies, but just like percentage, not as much. I think it's definitely not a Hollywood movie. Yeah, it's it has things in it that you haven't seen in movies in a long time, and it has topics that are not usually in movies. It's both sides. Yeah, yeah. I, it's very. I think in some places, like what? What did you think of? Spoiler alert. What did you think of the scene where, um, like when they were they were in the office, they were talking about like you know just being a cop in, in modern, modern times? Yeah. yeah. What did you think of that, man? I think it talked a lot about, and the scene we're talking about it talks about like you know you got to be careful what you do as a cop because everyone's got a camera in their pocket. They're talking about cell phones, and one of the cops actually got filmed putting his foot on this dude and you know, breaking his nose. Yeah. And basically with that, they ended up getting in trouble and put on the news. And so they kind of had a conversation about how it is to be a cop. Like, you know, you have to behave this certain way. And the chief's like, you know, you, you weren't, you know, I was your old partner. Now I'm the chief, but like, you know, you, you used to not be this aggressive. What I saw in the video wasn't you, wasn't the guy I remember. He's like, well, I've been on the streets a lot longer than you. You know, you you got promoted, and so it shows his backstory and his family and what they're going through, living in a bad neighborhood, and it shows his story in a way to where you kind of like, even though he's a little racist, you feel for him. And then it shows the other side of the coin, and it shows an African American dude trying to get out of the hood and take care of his family. So you you understand both of these characters' situations, and you want the best to happen for him. Yeah, and I think when it shows the cop, you're like, you feel for him, even though he's a little racist. And, uh, you know, there's some humanity in that. And you feel for the guy trying to get out the hood. You want him out the hood. And I think that is just such a... For for the director to do that and make us feel for the, the you know, the bad character and the good character, you're like, wow. I can't believe... You know, that's really something... That's something beautiful right there. He just... Yeah. He put a little bit of humanity in there, so... But what do you think about that? I... If I were, if I were to write it myself, I always kind of try to like shy away from like abrupt like scenes that are kind of not expositional, but just kind of like kind of are in there for shock value. Mm -hmm. So like if it were me, I would have shown uh, Mel's like family life first before that. Mm Mm-hmm. And then have him in the office with, um, you know, and that's how it's, that's how you would probably, yeah, you know, that, that seems like you do it. You have that a, way. a an easier gradient ramp, yeah. to that point. So you're just like, oh man, this is the reason why he's so aggressive. Yeah, this, but you don't see that first. Yeah, and you still end up feeling for him, which is that, the craziest yeah. fa- part about it. And that makes me want to double back on it. It's just like in this movie, having that just kind of abrupt jadedness. Mm-hmm. It sells the character, I think, a little bit better. Yeah. yeah, and you understand, you know, he's seen some stuff, and it's just he's become a he's become a better cop, but a, a better person, <laughs> I guess yeah. you'd say. Like he, you know what I'm saying? Like he gets he, the job done, but in a bad way, and um, he kind of loses his humanity after all those years. Just seeing all this terrible stuff and you you feel for him especially him trying to get his family situated and out that neighborhood it's just, I mean sorry I okay. um I think yeah let me punch you in the shoulder so you wake up go for it <laughs> oh you gotta work <clears throat> okay yeah <laughs> alright um I think one of the cool things just like it, it 
one of the it's a very slow burn oh yeah the detective part of the movie is so you're on the stakeout with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just sitting there in the back of the car watching Vince Vaughn just chow down on a Big Mac <laughs> for a good three minutes, just watching him just chow into it. Um, but that's cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. Anchovies, them. am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to put that like in my vernacular. <laughs> yeah. my it's like I can't mad it's like, yeah, it's something they God, say I in the love movie. It so much. Yeah, Vince Vaughn just always randomly says anchovies and like a, as a catchphrase <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> I but, uh, just like having these like shots. I always want I want to implement it to our stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, the, those like does you know those like I think it's called it's an establishing shot. Yeah, yeah. So it's like oh, it's this you know shot of this the city street and it's just like it's you know they're 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 shooting it from the car itself and they're they're gliding along and mm-hmm. there's the car that they're kind of you know f- like tailing and it's just like these really mood setting stuff i think it's really and then cool. it jumps into it after the establishing shot yeah did you see force of nature force of nature i haven't but i heard uh our good friend talk about it yeah i uh our friend adam i saw it i saw it too What'd you think? Force of nature. I, nature, uh, nature. Don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think it. It uh, Adam Adam um. Is always kind of pushing it to like, what more can you put into this? Like, what? How could you like put a little bit more quality into like this film? I feel like. Mel Gibson. Being a part of it makes you think, like, why do I like this movie so much, but not really into this one movie? Mm, yeah. I think it's just, I think it was just Craig Zoller had just a little bit more time to put to this film. And I think Fortune Nature actually was like the tail end of its production was um, the start of the coronavirus. So it was a rush to finish it pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think oh, wow. they lost out on a fair amount. It's just like some some of the stuff, but Melly Mel, yeah, just just kind of you know cutting his corners, you know, like just kind of like you know he's got a, he's always armed with a revolver, always, <laughs> yeah, you know? for some reason, and um, he's just like you know just watching him just in action. Just I love I just love Mel. So I love much. Mel Gibson too. I think uh, he's a great director too. Passion of Christ, all that jazz. He did Brave. I think he directed Braveheart as well. Yes. He didn't... I don't think he did Patriot. Wait. Mystical Book. Mystical Book. <laughs> mystical Book. Mr. Mystical Book. Mystical Book. Huh? Oh. Oh. No. Out, oh. Mystical Book. You're not working. Big Melly Mel. Make the cash. Okay, Mystical Book. You're conjuring up something and it's... The definition of the word Patriot. <laughs> come on that's not what i'm asking for the patriot movie of mel gibson who directed it director is not mel gibson it's someone else but he was a great director that movie's a, a masterpiece movie. <laughs> what did oh, you say oh no nothing okay yeah, nothing. that's what i thought um but yeah mel mel is a treasure for sure absolute treasure yes speaking of treasure is that the treasure <gasps> It's in a chest, it's in a big chest! Yes, yes, yes. Alright, who wants to open it? Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors! Uh, <laughs> Dang, okay, we're tied, <laughs> we're tied. Oh, we're, no, you didn't win, we're tied. Oh, yeah. Yeah, first, yeah first. okay. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm getting... Now, now you won! Get it. Get me in. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, ooh! What's this? Huh? Oh, look, it's Back to the Future 2 and 3. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, boy! Cool. We're going to have to watch these. We're going to have to watch we these. we got to watch them as soon as we get home. Yeah. All Dang. right. Um, wait. So, if if you if you were able, do you mm-hmm. think you could make a Back to the Future sequel? If you had oh, the gosh. production, like, supplies funding and everything why would you put this in my head why would you do this to me okay i'll tell you what this is what i'll say uh what's his name uh uh, jamie fox (laughs) like 20 20 again 
<laughs> Marty, Dad. Marty, no, J- yeah, <laughs> no, Jamie Fox is the dude in Django. Oh, the same thing. No. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> um, they should and- have a movie together. Just call it Fox <laughs> <laughs> or Foxy. Oh yeah. Ah. My God. <laughs> no, they okay. Short. Okay, let's be honest. No, I could not make a Back to the Future sequel. If I was asked to, I would be absolutely honored, and it would be hard for me to turn it down, but I would say no at the end of the day, because look, Back to the Future, I wouldn't want it rebooted, redone, or anything. I want it just as is. It's timeless. It really is. It can be used in any time. It's a very timeless classic. You can watch it, you know, 50 years ago, or, or, well, it wasn't made 50 years ago, but like 20 years ago, or 20 years from now, and it'll be the same. I mean, there's going to be some differences, but the story and... It's just, the, it's so original, it just can stay around forever. But the thing is, would I go back in time to be a part of the production? I wouldn't be director, but I would be, I would want to be like cameraman, sound, I would just want to be on set seeing these guys work on this amazing movie. I wouldn't get in the way or anything, but I would love to just be on set and be witness it. Just be a part of it. Damn. That's okay. hard, yeah. Another big question, another yes. big question for the tail end of this episode. Yes. What do you take from Back to the Future in use for your own stuff? Ooh, that's a good question. I think what I take away from Back to the Future the most is characters. Okay. Characters, if you, every character in that movie is so good. Um, Marty, Doc, his dad... His mom, they they just really move the story forward and keep it going and fresh, and it just feels so good when they are their characters. And so, like seeing Marty and Doc go off of each other makes me want to make movies where I have characters like that. And uh, of course, the story is so good, and I love like I want to make a time travel show one day, and I'm currently trying to write it. it. Tell me about it. <laughs> okay okay well, we'll leave, we'll leave it's it, well, it, yeah it's it, it's called pegasus but mm-hmm. we'll leave it at that i don't want to go on a spout on your podcast but no 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 no, no, no this no, is no, our no. podcast no. it's fine if you want to oh you're so beautiful please nice. please do it do it it's just it's 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 a time travel show and i'll leave it at that I, okay. okay i'll it's it's just cool it's okay. really cool okay yeah you know, I'll, I'll say come it on, i'll like, say come on, bring it on bring it on it's about kids who actually get kidnapped through time and are forced into a (laughs) they're forced to by this guy who's a doctor named mr h or dr h and what he does is he is trying to change time for his benefit and he makes these kids go through time after he kidnaps them and he they they try and he tries to change history because only kids can time travel because of how their brains are developing. Cool. And since their brains are developing, it can handle the time manipulation. So their their brains are growing, and so their brains can be distorted. And so it's a big thing, and the main character, you know, you find out at the end of the season why he's doing this, and he's, you know, let's just say he's got a good reason, but how far will you go? Yeah. And so there's a lot to it, and I know that's kind of like scrambled explanation that's not the elevator pitch that i have but yeah it's just cool time travel movie and back to the future has very much so inspired it in a way but it's a very much different feel where does the main setting take place the main setting is going to be in a facility called pegasus okay so a bunch of kids from different times they i have a i have a conspiracy about this already oh yeah pegasus is outside of time oh that would be cool is it it's not. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. It's underground somewhere. Okay. Yeah. But we don't know what time we it is. We don't know in. what time it oh, is. Oh, okay. In. I still like that. So, yeah. So the kids, the kids, it's like a mystery. They have to try to find out where they are first before they can escape Pegasus. Okay. So it's a big thing. And so you get these kids from, you know, I got our main character from the 60s. Yeah. His name's David. And then you got Seth from recent times, like now, whenever that we make it. And then, who's relevant. And then we got a girl from the 40s who's German and in the Holocaust. So very much kids from different decades. And they have to overlook their differences 
and work together to escape. So it's a very cool mixture, and uh, we got a lot of cool things in store. Very but, cool. Yeah, but very Back cool. to the Future has inspired that in a lot of ways. Do, do they, as a group, migrate through time, or is it they, very cool? They have a lot of times where they have to go through time and achieve a goal. or to. And while Mr. H is sending them out to change history... And I can't really go into why they're okay, changing spoilers. history. Yeah, but like, you find out why they're he's sending them. But basically, they're trying to figure out like clues and mysteries as to what Pegasus is on the missions he's sending them on while they're doing the mission. And then also, when they get back to Pegasus, they're sneaking around the base whenever they can, trying to you know escape from Vince, who's the bad guy from like the '80s. So uh, he's he's a really cool character who's got some. Uh, he's an orphan that Mister H first adopted, oh, to, okay. and he was the first subject. So he's a little loose, like screw in the head. Um, but anyways, it's them trying to just figure out where they are and how they can escape and who Mister H is so they can escape. And it's just a really beautiful story I want to tell one day. And Back to the Future, I'll say it again, has very much so inspired it alongside some other films are you gonna put some like Huey Lewis in the news <laughs> I would yeah. love to God, dude I don't so know if fun. he's alive but dude hey man I just can we get you uh, to play a new song or our, our our film bro <laughs> dude oh my gosh that would be absolutely phenomenal but um yeah I like again I wait do you hear that is that is that boss music oh my god gosh you don't What's uh, DVD's back? Oh no, he wants uh, he wants his copies of Back to the Future 2 and uh, 3. Okay, look, 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 look. We're not gonna give him back. So we gotta fight for it, Matt. We'll, we we'll gotta rock him. Oh no!